Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is nothing In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, trifling, difficult Back more So that didn't happen <laughs> good morning guys i was going to go to the gym and film a full day of eating today but i woke up too late <laughs> which seems to be a running theme these days it is 8:01, so it's not super late but it's just not really coinciding with my schedule also it is a freaking beautiful day out there today so actually what i want to do is take the dog for a walk finish getting ready plan some outfits and hopefully go out and shoot because it is just standing out there today even though it is freezing literally one degree today i feel like it's today or never because if you look at the rest of the week it's just straight rain so i'm gonna try and get some outfits and stuff shot today because i need to get back on my shit i feel like that's basically the theme of the vlog <laughs> you guys can probably hear i've been ill that's also been an ongoing theme so i've just been missing for a while so we need to catch up and have a chat um We've got a cosy boy on the loose. Look how big he is. He's literally massive. Oh, he's a sleepy boy. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Want some food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's my boy, boy. It was his birthday the other day. He's one now. Can't believe it already. Are you good, bro? <laughs> Shall we go, good sir? Tell jokes, it's this climbing bug that I got my boyfriend for Christmas. It's literally got a climbing hold for a handle. It's too good. Mm. Bit of a weird combo, but just trust me. In an Earl Grey tea? Mm. Shall we? Good boy. Oh, thank you. He's a good boy. Little poop meister. Make sure you've got enough poop bags for all the pooping you're about to do. High five. Yeah. Hey, come on in. Good boy. Whenever it's sunny and I'm on this walk, I just sit right on this bench and just babe just take it all in for a bit because it's far and few between at the moment but nothing feels better and it actually feels warm on my skin it's too good this feels amazing i need a holiday real quick <laughs> what's this good boy let's go I am back. I've just finished getting ready. I don't know if I like the eyes. I think I've gone a bit overboard. I've got a bit too excited. I don't know about you guys, but I am struggling to figure out what to wear at the moment. And for somebody who, you know, loves, I don't know if I'd say fashion more than like personal style. I just love getting dressed. I love playing dress up. I love self-expression through like the way that I dress. I have been struggling so much and I'm finding it really frustrating and I don't know if it's because it's just freezing and rainy all the time and I just want to like wear the same joggers and hoodies just in different colour combinations all the time. I'm getting sick of it. I feel like I'm really losing like inspiration and so when I do try and get dressed, I don't know why I'm talking like this the whole time, but when I do try and get dressed like it just feels like such a struggle and it's really frustrating because I feel like I'm losing something that I really love and that I, you know, I was really passionate about. And it's not through lack of like wanting to enjoy it and be passionate about it and get dressed and have fun with it. I just feel like I've lost it. Whilst I've been gone, I've been really focusing on like training and stuff as well. So I've defo like grown a little bit muscle wise and like nothing fits me the same anymore. Everything looks kind of different or it just doesn't fit me. But I do have some new in stuff so I'm going to try and style it. I've also got some fabric scissors that I bought recently so I'm going to like play around with some clothes that I don't really care about anymore which is most of them because a lot of them don't fit me. Come in! Hello. Hi. Look at this handsome devil. Hello. Hi. How do you do? I'm cold. 
I'm telling everyone about my um, my struggle with being able to get dressed at the moment. Isn't it true this is literally what I wear every single day, all the time, for like the last four months? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I need help. You look nice. <laughs> Are we going? Away? Yeah. Okay. No, I just did it and it was not good. Smell. Just warning him to not go in the other bathroom right now, <laughs> you know used it so I'm gonna take a risk right now I think I'm gonna try and, and crop this because I don't I don't wear it long so and I'm I'm even gonna get rid of it hopefully it doesn't just fall apart but it'd be cool if it was quite shredded I'm gonna show you guys the trainers I've been on a trainer kick at the moment I just need a whole wardrobe refresh all my clothes are shit and old mostly I don't really buy anything anymore clothes wise anyway nothing fits and it's just time to change it up you know but i wanted to show you these i love this little like cross detail stuff on the front we've got the crosses on the back there as well it's so cute i saw these when we went down to london recently but they didn't have my size because they only had men's but i found them in my size on the nike website i'll link it down below i just realized right now as well these also kind of tie into the denim trend at the moment i didn't buy them because of that but denim's in fashion so i'm like well here we are <laughs> you know the chokehold that scissors album has me in Anyone that like came for her, just shh, shh, okay? This woman is a fucking genius. She has perfected her craft to a T. If you actually deep it properly, you will understand what I'm saying. Don't ever come for scissor, okay? What's the worst that could happen? That was the most satisfying thing I've done in a while. I haven't used fabric scissors since I was in secondary school. That can definitely go shorter. I'm thinking, crop the front, leave the back a bit longer. I'm gonna try it. Guys, I think I did a thing. It's so cute. What do we think? Thinking to leave it quite boxy in the back. So then the front's like, surprise! It is way too cold to be wearing this though. I was gonna kiss you then. <laughs> On the lips, sorry. Oh, uh, never mind, I won't, I won't try again. Oh, I, give you, I was gonna give you a kiss then. <laughs> sorry. Come on, Nick. You turned away. On your lips, obviously. Oh. oh, awkward. Oh, goodness. I won't bother next time. <laughs> so this is the final look. My jumper that I cropped. I love the jaded trousers. My Nike Dunks. This bag that I got from Weekday recently, it's like a denim bag, really cool buckle. It kind of gives me diesel vibes. And then this jacket, really random, it's from Nova Men. We've left it a bit late in the day, which means it's kind of difficult to find like good sunny spots, but hopefully we'll make it work. I don't know how we're gonna do this. The road we're on now is sunny, but it doesn't look great. So, you got any ideas? Just keep walking to the sun. <laughs> Maybe near that Oxford Road station actually, because it's got like posters and stuff. Yeah. It's sunny down there. <laughs> that yeah. might work. Guys, I actually know places in Manchester now, like from my head. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Simba. When you walk into your flat and this is the lighting. Oh, that lighting's nice. We managed to catch the last bit of sun, the last like five minutes of it. But yeah, I think we managed to get some decent shots. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you want to see those because they're kind of cute. I'll probably post that tomorrow, so it'll be up by the time this vlog is up. This lighting is just too good right now. I need to take some selfies. Not me falling asleep on the sofa and staying there till this morning. I am stiff, I'm tired. My hair has like got waves in it from where I was like getting cold sweats. But you know, we move. Today we're doing 
a full day of eating. Started a little bit later than I wanted to, but it's fine. Oh, that water, that cold, cold water was exactly what I needed right now. My head feels like it weighs a ton. What a eat in a day, full day of eating has commenced. But in the meantime, <laughs> I'm gonna look over the photos that we got yesterday. I'm very excited. That one or that one? Sorry. So you didn't need the toilet then. You're being such a good boy. We're gonna take you on a walk. We're gonna go to the park. Have a little run around, even though you can't be trusted off the lead, so you gotta stay locked in tight. Oh, you're so sweet right now because you want food, but you're not usually this nice, are you? Like I didn't just find you with my massage gun, you little destructor. Destructor. It's like if I let them stroke me, maybe they'll give me some of this thing. What am I doing? Praying Mantis? I like that one. That one over that one? Mm. Maybe not over it, I don't even, yeah. It's you a boyfriend that doubles as a great photographer. Especially when you can't take photos and you're not that photogenic and you need some help. I found this one on Instagram.com. Since y'all been asking where can you find one. <laughs> It's snowing. I'm going to take that as a sign that I need to stay indoors. <laughs> it's also International Women's Day, so happy International Women's Day to all my ladies. I hope you guys are being celebrated as you should be. Today actually marks a year since my grandma passed away, so I'm just having a bit of a, an at-home day, a bit of a nostalgic day. I'm just taking it easy, eating some good food, like doing a bit of self-care, kind of just taking care of myself a little bit more and getting some admin bits done, getting some work done, editing. I've got some TikTok work that I need to get finished tonight, so I'm gonna do that. <laughs> he's so excited, well, look at the state of him. Look at, he's, he's so funny. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought, but yeah, I'm basically, that's what I'm doing today. I'm staying at home, just doing work bits. I've got a bit of a headache anyway. Um, as I said, I've had some ongoing thing where I'm just constantly ill, and if I'm not ill, then I'm going through like a PMDD phase. So I've, I'm just knackered all the time. I do need to go to the doctor, so I think I need to get like a checkup. So I will do that at some point and keep you guys updated. I'm not gonna lie, I've been procrastinating it a lot. I need to go dentist as well. My teeth are so sensitive to everything. Anytime I have chocolate, anything sweet, my teeth ache. I don't know if that's normal, um, but I need to get that sorted. I think I've got to get a couple pulled as well. There's just a million and one things. All I seem to be taking care of is like aesthetics, which I need to get my priorities right. Um, oh, I can't believe it's there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, the snow. Can you see that? So yeah, I need to get on top of that. I need to get on top of my work. I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things, basically. If I'm being honest, I feel like I've kind of lost touch with you guys, with YouTube, with Instagram, because I've just not been consistent and I've been so out of the loop with it because I've been, there's been other things on my mind, you know, I've had other concerns that have taken over my life for such a long time. And now that I'm really like ready to get back in the game, get my grind back on, I just feel so out of touch. So I feel like I should do like a bit of a Q&A or something um, where you guys can just ask me anything. There's obviously stuff that I'm not going to talk about, but just in terms of like getting to know me again. And for those of you guys that are new, any questions that you have that you want to know about me, I'd love to answer and just feel like I'm back in touch with you guys because I don't like this separation. It feels weird. I don't like feeling like I don't know what to say, you know, feeling anxious about picking up a camera when you guys are my gang, do you know what I mean? You guys are my community and it shouldn't feel like this, but I've let it get to that point. So I would really like to just, for us to get to know each other again. I just don't know what to say because I don't know where to begin because I feel like there's so much to talk about and I just don't even know where we left off. So help me catch you guys up by leaving your questions down below. I, yeah, I just, I just want to feel connected again. 